Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Lenovo ThinkPad E16 Gen 2. To have a look at the internals of this business device, you have to undo seven captive Phillips head screws. Insert a thin plastic tool in one of the top two corners to create a gap in the rear to pop it. Then, pry the sides and the front. The inside of the bottom panel houses a socket for the RAM slots and a thermal pad for the pre-installed SSD. Our notebook is equipped with the optional 57 watt hour battery. The default variant is a 47 watt hour model. To remove it, unplug the connector from the main board and undo the three Phillips head screws that hold the battery in place. The capacity is enough for around 13 hours of video playback. To achieve that, you have to apply the best power efficiency preset in the Windows power and battery menu and set the scheme for battery to balanced mode in the BIOS. According to Lenovo, the two SODIMs can handle up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 5,600 megahertz memory in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 96 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. The Wi-Fi card is placed right below the fan. You get two Gen 4 M.2 slots for storage expansion, one for 2242 SSDs, and one for 2280 NVMe drives. There is another thermal pad below the SSD. The cooling system is rather limited, particularly given our 28-watt, 16-core CPU. The thermal system has just one fan, a heat pipe, one heat sink, and a heat spreader.